Um, from. Alright, guys. Is he from PSP? Dushi? Forte. The Forte? I don't remember. Never so, mind then. I don't think so. Capture the. Is points. Sushi the guy in Mumble? Uh, yeah. Sushi's not in the Mumble, no. I was just saying his name because it sounds funny. I'm playing Rocketeer. This is pretty cool. <laughs> and I'm surrounded. That's cool. <laughs> what was that? Nice, Tashi. I was completely turned around. Uh, oh, yeah. I thought you were talking about how I hit myself with a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> no, I threw one at you. Oh, okay. That was my item. Oh, uh, where's all my friends going? On? Oh. It's coming. Got you, tits. No pun intended. <laughs> Why would you never intend tits? Come on. <laughs> well. How lewd. Didn't say it wasn't appreciated, just not intended. <laughs> <laughs> and they got the AA down, locked down hard. Me too, I think. Not as uh, male intensive. Yes. Yeah, but it's not like it's reflected by that kind of stuff. So. Could be because of the the actual map design. This is uh, uses an actual ground uh, terrain that just has buildings on it, whereas the other maps might be comprised entirely of objects. I don't know if you go the guys know anything about. Um, well, it's got flaccid geometry, right? They all have lots of geometry, the, but I mean, the ground like, isn't, you know, like a load of rectangles. The way a map is usually constructed is you have a basic terrain, and you build objects on top of it to kind of give it complexity. And the objects have physical properties, and the terrain has physical properties. On a map like Titan, for instance, the ground is just flat, and you've got basically walls and objects beyond that. Uptown's just smaller. Uh, although, uh, what's it called? Andromeda's flat for the most part, too. I think this was the very first map from pre-alpha, too. Could just be that they worked harder on this one. Because there's a real early gameplay vid. Like from before the famous one that made it to E3 that had the Andromeda City. That has a map very similar to this one. It actually has a lot of the same pieces from this map. It just was, uh, but it was, for the most part, looked different. I don't know if anybody saw that one. What I'm talking about. Was that the one where they had, um, like, uh, item reloading stations? Was yeah, that, that, was, that was the E3 they, video they, where they had they item had reloading like stations. And then there's a thing where, like, they were like replenishing items and putting down like really weird turrets on little towers. Yeah, that was uh, that was the E3 video, was that? which was uh, on Andromeda, okay. which is the greenish city. Um, there was another video though different. from the same pre-alpha that had this map. Uh. Only it had it was totally different. It had it had more buildings, less desert regions, and it was there were like overpasses and there was like a a huge silo in one section. Like an actual tunnel into the earth, like a mine shaft. Ooh, I like that sounds awesome. Out. It is. It looks yeah, like a lot awesome this final version. Yeah, I want to get another map. 
Could be a story mode map. I could uh, I could find it again if it's still up and link it in the mumble. Story mode. And then we'll start, I'll game. start a new thread demanding it, access to that map. Bring the old Sahara back. Assuming that is the old Sahara. <laughs> You know how uh, Andromeda has like those underpass things where like there's like a uh, like a sewer line, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a tunnel like that I mean, like in a the old Sahara. Oh. Was it like a proper tunnel, or was it just like a trench on Andromeda? Uh, well, part of it's like a trench, and then it, and then it becomes a tunnel. All this guy's gonna. I'm just gonna find the video. I wonder what those towers are supposed to be, anyways. Towers. The ones we're shooting down. Some kind towers. of base structure. All we need to know. They're if it fits into the story, I they're, just they're imagine some nice kind of though. resource harvesting thing. Well, the devs already have mentioned that they they built a ridiculously deep storyline for this game, so oh, they I said imagine they built at some like point, a, like a whole Bible thing for the whole lot. Yeah, so I imagine at some point everything <coughs> will be explained. I would love to get my hands on that, just like read some of it. Have like, you seen the, you the, know, the, get the actual thoughts behind everything? Have you seen? Because people uh, make like tons of suggestions on the forum, which are really good and everything, but like. You don't really know whether what you're suggesting is ever like really in line with the direction they want to go. Yeah, that's why it's hard to make suggestions when you have no idea what it's about. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't hurt. I mean, like. Well, I think as far as the multiplayer aspect, I think they want to. Says. They have made adjustments to everything, so I think they want to make it fairly gameplay focused. Oh no, they're definitely making like the right moves at the moment. So they're definitely in they're definitely mind, taking anyway. people's suggestions. No question. I'm glad they've been quick to fix things that they've been over nerfing. Yeah. I mean, one of the uh, things I was... is... I was <laughs> saying, like, everybody's been trying to propose new changes to Siege, and there's a possibility that there's a reason for having their weird Siege mode. Mm. Siege mode is just, like, something completely different. It's really hit and miss, I think. Like, there's, like, a lot of people that really like it, a lot of people that really hate it. It's something face new, I totally so... just ran face first into you without noticing. <laughs> me, 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 you mean? Yeah, I like <laughs> ran around the corner. Yeah, like, I was oh, like, God damn it. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> sushi. Mm, now I want sushi. <laughs> sushi does sound good. <laughs> I like the fact that if with camera shake on and stuff, like the reticle actually follows, bounces with the mech and follows the guns rather than remaining static in the center like so many other shooters. Yeah. I actually had a game idea. It's mostly uh, for the story, but I, I had the idea. It was it started out as an RTS, but I'm not sure if I want to make it an RTS or a shooter now. Uh, and this game actually feels like a step toward it. Um. Because what it was supposed to, it's called the Droid War. And the idea is like, it's kind of like based on almost like that War Games idea where like machines start fighting our wars for us. Mm -hmm. Where humanity invents an AI and it builds a whole race of these, uh, they're actually like robotic brains called Macrons that can basically inhabit a wide variety of different machines and control them. Um, only the Macrons are the robot themselves. Everything else is like these external units or suits, whatever. Um, oh, okay. And then there ends up being two factions that both have this technology, and these droid units are become self-dependent. So they're fighting a war for humanity, 
and there's this huge looming threat. I like I like the tension of the this huge looming threat of what's going to happen after the war if the droids win. Are they just going to keep fighting? Whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a cool idea. I just don't know if it would work because what I want to actually make make for the multiplayer is actually have where you can design your own units and even like um, alchemize. I don't know if that's a word. Uh, what your own weapon designs and stuff. Like actually customize, tw tweak weapons a little bit to your liking. If that makes sense. This is gonna be a ch uh, challenge to balance, though. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna get that. You're gonna get some like really competitive people making the most broken things they can possibly conceive. <laughs> oh damn it! It's it's entirely a, an idea right now. I haven't even really made any artwork for it, let alone anything else. I mean, I have I have come up with some with some uh, gameplay concepts, but that's about it. I have some really cool ideas though. Just gotta. Figure out what I'm gonna do with them. And I recorded the whole thing. Yep. He's gonna now everyone will know your, your secrets. Oh, well, well since, you it, since you recorded it, you also have physical proof that I own the copyright to it since I developed it. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds really good, yeah. <laughs> and I have documents that I wrote that I have uh, <laughs> records of the dates when I saved them. Computers automatically back, back that up. So if you want to try to steal my idea, I will fight you in court. I was just so giving you a hard time. I know. On you Americans. So was I. Sue everybody. <laughs> I'm Sue all the things. I'm not saying it's a stereotype, but it's a stereotype. It's Welcome to trio. America. Welcome to America, where McDonald's gets sued because its coffee is hot, like it's supposed to be. <laughs> I heard that it's because it actually got like melted to her skin. It was third. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's still the person's fault for spilling it. It's not McDonald's's fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, she takes. Piping hot coffee, pinches it between her legs and starts driving, and then is surprised when it comes out on her thighs. Ah, oh, driving in your country is insane. Like, you just don't oh, have, like, any it... proper, like... Like, you can go on your mobile phone in the car. We don't do that in Britain. No, that we is can't. madness to us. We can't do that, but... Well... People do. It's not... It's illegal, but yeah. People do it anyway. Oh, okay. I just saw so many people doing it. Wait, it's illegal? Like, Where I was on holiday in Vegas, like, past couple of weeks. So I was well, just it's... like... You're not supposed to technically have it out. If you're using a hands-free, it's fine, but... Okay. It might be Actually, certain the states technical it. ruling is um, if it's not if it's an automated service, you're allowed to, so that you can interact with GPSs and stuff like that. But if it's a non-automated service, it's illegal. In, Thank you for that. In Illinois, it's, if you're over 19, you can just pick up a phone. Just... Pick it up. There you go. Okay. You can just pick up a phone and, uh, that's cool. <laughs> I, here Come in Michigan, you can pick up a phone at four, just so you know. You don't have to wait till you're 19. <laughs> Until then, like, every time the phone rings, it's just like, fuck. I'm Holy messing shit. with you. Yeah, Everybody that's on every that's game. not happening. <laughs> Got killed by a revolting grenade launcher. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a giant fat kid. I'm allowed to have it. <laughs> Vroom vroom vroom, RevGL. Plunk, 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 plunk. Mm. Wait, is that some kind of innuendo? <laughs> Dude. 
Meanwhile, on Snake Way. Now that's definitely some kind of innuendo. Episodes. Holy cow, it's almost Napa. instantly got killed. Holy shit, hit. too many. Whoa, where am I? Everybody at two. Uh, oh dear, oh dear. Get out of there! We the girly man! I'm terrible with that. You do game dev, Skyly? A little bit. I'm working on a virtual reality game, but um, nice. I'm an embedded uh, processor guy. Gotcha. Can't think right now. <laughs> Anybody interested in Oculus Rift? Hell yeah. In what? Oh, Oculus Rift. That's oh yeah. Badass. Uh, if I could one day afford it, I'd love to get it. <laughs> yeah. I'll true. let you know how it I'm is. Just, I'm just a broke college student <laughs> at the moment. So I don't really have the uh I can't move. I'm playing games like this. <laughs> what the I was GG. Stuck. Well, I'd be playing this anyway, but GG. GG. I love how you can see the black edge of the map background. Are those supposed to be mountains? Well, the map background only comes it's a hemispherical texture so it's only half a sphere so the bottom half is basically missing you're seeing black space outside of oh. the little uh little game development insider <laughs> and that is why maps are surrounded by hills and tall objects right so you don't see so you never edge. see the edge mm. same thing with uh movies everything that can be two-dimensional is made two-dimensional i don't really get what forte is saying <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.